So one of the ways we find houses a lot is referrals. When you do this enough times, people call you. And I don't know if we're gonna buy this house or not, but this, this, this guy who owns this house was a very good friend of my dad's and a very good friend to, uh, to our family. And so he, uh, his brother passed and he uh, inherited the house. He actually grew up in the house and hasn't been updated for a long time. And so he asked if I come by and take a look at it. So we're taking a look at it, see what we can do for it and uh, how we can do it. But again, you know, we're, we're trying to show you different ways to find houses in, in our series here. And this is referrals is really important. If you don't get out there and tell people what you do, no one knows what you do, right? So make sure that you get out there and tell people. So let's go in and start taking a look around and see what it looks like. And let's put this one's mind uh, at work and see what we can do to design it. Yeah, the way the way that Glenn and I work is he's the numbers guy. So he walks in and, you know, figures out what the renovation is going to cost and how much we can buy the house for, what it's going to sell for, what the ARV is. But then he called me and he said, I need you to come look at this house yeah. because from a design standpoint, that's where that's where my strength is. So. I've already seen the, the inside of the house. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. So I called him the uh, the big guns. We'll get it done. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Party. <laughs> so front porch, obviously, and this, you know. The ceiling's kind of cool. I think you could make this into part of a living room if you, if you, I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's where I'm confused. I need you to do your, do your thing and kind of figure yeah. it out because I don't know. A lot of times these front porches have slanted floors, which is still fixable. I, this one actually looks pretty level. And there's a foundation on the outside of it. It's not like a regular. Got a full foundation out there. Okay. So we're small, and you know the iconic bachelor pad lamp. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was the bachelor pad. That's for sure. <laughs> Do you know how many bedrooms it is? It's right now a three bedroom with an upstairs. The so the attic is totally open. The attic is totally open, so it's got room to expand. This is where I this is where I wasn't sure what to do with it, so I wanted to have your input. Yeah, this should be part of the living room. Oh. Oh, see that? So that's good. I did not, I didn't think about that. What is that? So that is the furnace. That's the only heat source in the house. But what's that under it's there? It's the only vent. bucket? Uh, probably. I don't exactly know, but it probably is. You look at the basement, it's a very, very old furnace. Don't say. I want to show you electrical though. Check this out. When you're looking at a house, this is one of the ways you know you have a oh. very old house when you have push button switches for your lights. We've only seen those a couple of times. Yeah, they're, they're, that's very old. The owner is having a hard time right now. He's very overwhelmed with all the stuff in the house and that's understandable. I mean, that's, he's already gotten rid of a lot. There's a whole lot more to get rid of here, right? And he's not sure what to do. So one of the things that we do is we say, if we buy your house, you can just take whatever you want and leave the rest. And I encourage you to do that for anybody you're buying a house for. It, it's not that big of a burden for you. You just call a trash removal company or a charity company to come take things out that they can use for a charity and then throw the rest out. But that that benefit to the seller is a huge help to them. So right now the kitchen is really small and this is kind of a weird room. Um, I would take this wall out and make this one big eat-in kitchen. You could elongate the kitchen a little more and have a dining area right here that overlooks the backyard. You know, typically dining rooms are in the front of these older houses, but you know, we could definitely incorporate it so that it looks really nice. It's not often that you walk into a house that you're gonna buy and you see a picture on the wall and you see your big brother right in the middle. That's my oldest brother. He's out in Colorado. They're doing some elk hunting out there. So not often you find that on a wall. Let's <laughs> send a picture of that to him. Let's go look at the upstairs. Or do you wanna look at the basement? Yeah, we'll look at the basement, the basement first. Yeah. If we can get a shot of this, so let's turn off my. So this is a furnace. It's an old, old furnace. It has some asbestos on it. Um, not a ton, but it does have some asbestos. So. But it has been energy audited, so that's something. <laughs> back in uh, yeah, probably 19, 1987. It was energy audited, so that's good. Powered by oil is an oil tank here. There already is natural gas in the house, so that's good. You can see gas pipes. Let's look over here, at electrical panel, real quick. Let's see what we got for electric wires through here. So electrical panel, I started looking at the wires. They are, they are good wires that are here. It's an older, like a 60 amp um, panel. I need to put a new electrical panel in without question. It's just old. Here's a gas meter. So I know there's gas, even though there's already oil in the basement, we, since we have to replace the boiler or the furnace anyway, 
we would go ahead and put a gas furnace in because we do have gas in the house. So if you have gas in the house, that's a good thing, right? That'll help so you don't have to have gas brought in. But as a side note, most um, power companies will put gas within 50 to 100 feet into your house uh, at no charge. So yeah, this to me is screaming master sweet. I mean, the only negative- I once caught a fish this big. Look at that monster. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> The, the only negative is that the roof pitch is quite steep, but this is very usable living space. It's gonna add a lot of square footage to the house. When we first started, how long have we been in business? 12 years ago now? <laughs> when we first started 12 years ago, these kind of houses were our bread and butter. We bought a ton of two bedroom houses and converted the attic into a master suite, and they sold like hotcakes. So, what we do up here, and, and it's not that big of an expense. The biggest expense up here is that we're gonna, we'd have to add a bathroom, um, which adds more value to the house too, because now it's a two bathroom house instead of one bathroom. More people search for two bathroom houses. So what we would, would do is- Would it would, be a three, two? Yeah, yes, because we get rid of one of the bedrooms downstairs to right. make that a bigger living room. Okay. So yes, it would be a three bedroom, two bath house, but one of the bedrooms would be a nice master with an ensuite bathroom. So we would put the bathroom at the, the front of the house because there's a window there. Um, and you know, just put a nice big, probably 60 inch shower in, a double vanity, um, a toilet. That's a great space. That's not gonna take up that much room. But that's not going to take up that much room. And then from that wall all the way over, I'm just saying, master bedroom. Just saying. <laughs> All right, stop playing. That that's, usually, that's usually me like going through stuff. So it's hard. That's a big boy. The rest of this is not that much of an expense at all. We're going to build a four foot knee wall, which is about right there on both sides of the bedroom. Flooring, we do just carpet up here. Um, I prefer hardwood, but up, up here in this kind of area, we would definitely do carpet. Um, Sheetrock, paint, trim, light fixtures, closets. You know, there's not a whole lot to finishing an attic into a master suite. Aesthetically, I don't know what you think. I don't know if it'd be a deal killer to have the door here. Yeah. Um, I mean, in a perfect world, I'd put a door on the front, just okay. where one of the windows is. We're gonna replace the window anyway, so you might as well put a door in. Probably just do it on the other side over there so that it's right off of the driveway. So, okay. yeah. So, Christian Rivers. Um, I mean, that's going to take some construction. That's fine. So, 2000 we'll put add front. front door. So, we're going to add a front door. And windows. Um, 15 windows. Plus 9,500, plus 500, plus 3,000, plus 1,200, plus 2,000, plus 1,500, plus 4,000, plus 500 is 61,925. Mm -hmm. We said yeah. sixty thousand. <laughs> yeah. So add ten percent for an oops factor. So add six grand. So we're we're. Sixty seven hundred. Yeah, I'm gonna call it seventy G's. That's that we should call it seventy thousand for argument's sake. Yep. So seventy thousand dollars. You know, we we did a house right down the street from that. That's been a few years ago though, but we sold that for probably about one fifty nine. Mm -hmm. I imagine we're in the one fifty nine, one sixty nine range, yeah. double lot. I think at least. So we can pay forty-five thousand five hundred, and I, I had let him know that we were probably between twenty and thirty thousand for the house. So, you know, I um, the numbers definitely work. Yeah, I think we're going to offer probably around thirty thousand for the house. Yeah, that gives us room to negotiate if we have to go up because there's a lot of risk we take on with that house. Just stuff. Yeah, the the disadvantage of buying a house is that full of stuff that there could be problems that you just don't see. Yeah. So forty five thousand. All right. So on that house, we can you know we can afford to pay up to forty five thousand dollars and still make um, you know a decent profit on that, probably in the thirty range, thirty to thirty five thousand range when all said and done. So if we do really well, whether we buy it right, if we buy it for thirty, maybe closer to forty five or fifty thousand dollars profit on that on that deal. It's, it's an eight week renovation too. Oh yeah. Right, it's all of eight weeks. Yeah. So Yeah, because it needs everything. Except for siding. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's the deal. So I'm gonna go back and, and approach them and let them know what we're paying for the house and I'll uh, see what we do. We'll use our sheet and there we go. So yeah. if not, we can see if, if they don't like that offer, my back will be the wholesale for them. Yeah.
We can wholesale it for them. We can put it under contract for 40. Somebody else might want to pay 50 more or 60. So what, what's our potential profit on that one? Well, around 20% so of, of this number here. So around 30, 32,000. Yeah. Depends what we buy it for. If we buy it for 45, then we're looking at 30, $33,000. But if we get it for 30,000? 43,000, yeah. So it all depends what you buy it for. Yeah. Make our money when we buy. So, okay. All right, that's okay. our deal. So I hope you enjoyed that information. I hope you got some really great tips from it and learned something from it. Make sure that you like and subscribe to our page if you want to get more tips and more of the how-tos that we are going to be sharing. If you know anybody that's interested in flipping, make sure you share our page with them too. And please ask any questions and we will personally answer those below. We'll see you next time.